it's been a process that Claremont reached out to me around it's probably like four months ago now. So uh, they're making a big trip to come out here. Uh, and then hopefully we can help them, you know, like throughout the year, just optimise everything, like the, you know, like with the PTO series and the Ironman series, and obviously we've got like Nice and Kona at the end of the year, so uh, I'm excited to get it underway. Obviously we're in our new facility now, the first people to have a bike fit in here, so that's quite exciting. You'll probably see like from some of the shots a bit rough and ready at the minute, but by the time it's all done, it's not going to affect the fits, but uh, yeah, it's nice to be in this new unit as well. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon So obviously we've got the new BMC bike for Claremont now. Uh, yeah, super impressed with the looks of this. Uh, again, we're going to adapt like the front end, get like kind of a baseline ready for tomorrow, and then obviously go to the wind tunnel and refine it all really. So uh, but yeah, it looks the like first time I've ever worked on this bike, so it's always good to get something new in. So I'm sure it'll pop up its own a few problems, but we'll sort them. So uh, we've just changed the angle of this slightly. Uh, we've dropped down to like a 15 degree angle. Now we can drop into it and then you can just see like a little bit better. So uh, we're just getting into position now that we can basically go to the wind tunnel tomorrow and test it all. Uh, and obviously we can change like stack height, reach. I've left like the poles out, you can see that. Uh, and then we can, yeah, got a, a good sustainable position because you know, like when we talk about aero, it's not just like one position that we want to utilize, it's 
different positions that we can utilize throughout like the course and ultimately come run fast off the bike. Kind of what's going wrong a lot of the time now with aero testing, people ch chase the aero rather than thinking about, you know, the cost, you know, what is the cost of this when I come to run off the bike, so. So yeah, saddle, we've just brought it forward. It's quite a common trait. You generally find that most triathletes want to be two to three centimeters behind the bottom bracket. We do get some athletes that want to be most forward. Generally women generally want to be more forward on like the saddle. Uh, but now, yeah, we've just got to fine tune it all. Uh, and then, then we'll be good to go, really. What, what's next? Uh, we've got a footbed machine. We're just gonna mold some insoles, just get them a bit more symmetrical. Uh, and then just fine tune like the, the cleat position and just a little sort of change to the saddle and we're good to go. Cool.